Today I'm going to talk to you about how the heart works, what happens when heart failure occurs, and an exciting new clinical trial that's evaluating a new investigational treatment for people with heart failure. Let's start with how the heart works. The heart is a muscle that pumps oxygen-rich blood to the body. It does so in two phases. In the first phase, it relaxes and fills with blood. In the second phase, it contracts and pumps blood out to the rest of the body. Sometimes the heart can no longer pump enough blood to meet the body's oxygen needs. This condition is known as heart failure. Heart failure is a condition that can get worse over time and has a severe impact on quality of life and is associated with a significantly reduced life expectancy. People with heart failure often experience the following symptoms, general fatigue or tiredness, shortness of breath, and swelling in the legs and feet. One common cause of heart failure is high blood pressure, which causes the heart to work harder in order to pump blood out to the body. Now, like any muscle, the heart responds to this higher workload by becoming thicker and stiffer, preventing it from filling properly with blood. This is called diastolic heart failure. And just as a car tire requires higher pressures to inflate than a balloon, a thick and stiff heart also requires high pressures to fill. In order to fill a thick and stiff heart, blood pressure in the lungs goes up causing fluid to seep out from vessels into the air spaces in the lungs. This condition is known as pulmonary edema, and it causes serious breathing problems. High blood pressure in the lungs and heart also causes blood to pool in the legs, which leads to swelling. Another common cause of heart failure is a heart attack, which deprives the heart of oxygen, damaging and weakening muscle tissue. As a consequence, the heart can no longer squeeze strongly enough to pump out sufficient blood to meet the body's needs. This is called systolic heart failure. In summary, people with heart failure may have a thick and stiff heart that cannot fill properly, or may have a weakened heart that cannot pump out enough blood. Some people with heart failure may have a combination of both problems. There are no proven treatments available today that improve the function of the heart in individuals with heart failure caused by heart filling problems. Medications primarily improve symptoms without changing the course of the disease or improving survival. Studies have shown that individuals with heart failure who do not get effective treatments have a poor quality of life and a high risk of death. The five-year mortality rate is very high for these individuals, with 74% dying. Now let's talk about a possible solution that may help individuals with heart failure. An implantable device called the RIO system, which uses the patented Barrel Reflex Activation Therapy technology. It's currently being studied to determine whether it's safe and improves heart function and survival in heart failure patients. The barrel receptors are the body's natural blood flow regulation sensors. And they have the ability to send signals to the brain, which responds to these signals by telling the arteries to relax, making it easier for blood to flow to the body and reducing effort on the heart. Telling the heart to slow down, allowing more time for the heart to fill with blood telling the kidneys to reduce fluid in the body, lowering blood pressure, and reducing effort on the heart. The RIO system is designed to work by sending electrical signals through very thin wires called leads to the vessels of the neck called the carotid arteries, where the barrel receptors are located, this causing the barrel receptors to send signals to the brain. The brain responds to these signals by telling the arteries to relax, making it easier for blood to flow to the body, the heart to slow down, allowing more time for the heart to fill with blood, and the kidneys to reduce fluid in the body. If the RIO system works as designed, 
It will help patients with heart failure by reducing the thickness and stiffness of the heart and by reducing the amount of work the heart does over the long term. This could result in improved heart function and blood circulation and a reduction of blood pressure. The Rios device has been studied to lower blood pressure in patients with uncontrolled high blood pressure despite being on at least three medications to lower blood pressure. And some of these patients also had early stage heart failure. The data on the impact Rios had on the heart was collected for 21 of these patients. The results were presented at the American College of Cardiology and have been published in scientific journals. Out of the 21 patients, most experienced reduced thickness of the heart, improved heart function, and reduced blood pressure. Two experienced events such as device movement, high blood pressure episodes, and surgical complications, all of which were resolved without lasting effects on the patients. If you decide to learn more about this trial, you will talk to a trial doctor about possible risks. These results are promising, but a larger study is needed to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of the Rios device for the treatment of heart failure. The new study is called HOPE for HF. The HOPE for HF trial is now enrolling patients to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of the Rios device to treat people with heart failure. The Rios device is being evaluated to determine whether it can reduce heart failure symptoms, improve heart function, help patients live longer, improve quality of life, and reduce the number of hospitalizations due to heart failure. If you're interested in participating in the HOPE for HF trial, the next step you need to take is to click on the Am I a Candidate button on the top of your screen and answer four short questions. If your answers match the study entry criteria, please provide us with your contact information and we'll call you as soon as possible to further evaluate your qualifications for this study. Thank you for your interest in the Hope for HF trial.